Doha is different. Starting something from scratch and developing it into something great is an incredible challenge. This one began with a vision by Dr. Julio C. Maglioni, taking a risk and all responsibility. The FINA president hosted the first World Aquatics Convention in his home city of Punta del Este, Uruguay in 2010. The convention turned out to be a great initiative. Two years later, Moscow became the venue of the great FINA rendezvous, and it brought tremendous success again. The program was enriched by the Golden Coaches Clinic, which generated enormous interest. And what began as the President's Initiative four years ago became a must-be-there event. So it was inevitable to have a third edition. But again, something new came up as it was combined with the biggest FINA event of the year, the 12th FINA World Swimming Championships. Yet the task of organizing the 2014 convention was daunting for the FINA leaders and especially the FINA office. Had the wide selection of events appeared as a menu of a restaurant, the quantity and the quality would have surely met the criteria of earning three Michelin stars. The usual FINA executive and bureau meetings were followed by the openings of the convention and exhibition space. Exhibits featured the hosts of the future editions of the FINA World Championships and companies with global recognition who are well-known partners of aquatics. The duty of opening the spectacular convention was shared by the FINA president, Dr. Julio C. Maglioni, and by His Excellence, Sheikh Saud bin Abdul Rahman El Thani, Secretary General of the Qatar Olympic Committee. Every year we are hosting around 43 international events. And this is, comes from the vision of our country that we give an importance for sport as one of the pillar to develop the society and also to develop the infrastructure and to bring people together through sport. Our sport is continually, continually growing and FINA is securing a stronger position with the world competitive sport markets. As I have said many times, only together we can make FINA stronger. The President's expectations and views were mirrored by the words we recorded while touring around the stands. We have also got an opportunity to meet people here that has helped us to, to uh, develop some new thoughts, get some new impressions. They have lots of clinics in here and expertise from all over the world. To be in front of so many coaches, so many federations all around the world from North America to South America to Africa to Europe to Asia, it's, you know, it's been absolutely fantastic and it's, it's one that I would certainly recommend in, in the future. You bring the convention here to a country where, uh, which allows also people from the region to uh, get access uh, also to, to such uh, uh, opinion leaders and, uh, and information, which is very good. And it's not only to be organized in, uh, in uh, Europe or, or uh, other continents. The conference part of the program also took stage in the magnificent Ritz-Carlton Hotel. Hosts of major FINA events, experts of several important areas and highly ranked lecturers shared their knowledge and experiences with the numerous spectators. It's not easy, perhaps impossible, to pick just one thought of each speaker. So again, just as in a restaurant, we offer some fine appetizer. Not too many sports can boast of having all their major events already allocated and awarded for almost a decade in advance. We realize that FINA event will attract the attention of millions of people all over the world. What is more, Kazan will become the first city to host the FINA World Championships together with another major event, the Masters Championships. We thank FINA for this also. Uh, this is a great privilege and responsibility for all of us. Indeed, in the last three years, Windsor, a relatively small city, has invested more than $90 million in aquatics facilities and events. Well, firstly, it is a mass participation sport. It has, the major events have global media profile and worldwide participation in terms of the number of countries. The world will focus on Hungary. Although 
We have several world championships held in our country in various sports, but none of them is that huge in any field, either the number of athletes, officials, media representatives, events duration and TV exposure are concerned. All in all, the FINA World Championship will be the biggest sports spectacle ever hosted by Hungary. The companies standing behind Aquatics are not just sponsors anymore. They've become key players of our sports. You can only create synergies with, between brands by having good and uh, strong partnerships. And, and at Omega, we never speak of sponsoring business or something like that. You know, we, we are a partner. I wish you to drink one bottle every day in order to improve your health. Together with FINA, we will keep working to contribute to the health and happiness of people around the world. One of our most important partners is FINA. FINA takes us to the main special events and it's, uh, it's certainly an excellent partner for us. The lecturers of the Golden Coaches Clinic have to be appreciated for many reasons. For instance, they stepped onto the podium and offered the best of their knowledge, despite many sitting in the audience well could be regarded their rivals. And the best swimmers are not just great champions. They also set examples and teach all of us of the benefits of consciousness, perseverance, and making sacrifices. The perception is that um you know, it's, it's, it's a group of crazy guys jumping from, from the highest place they can find and uh, that, uh, you know, they're surviving just by luck. No, it's, it's a, a high-level sport and, uh, you know, we're working hard to maintain that. I compete at the World Cup um, for the past three years and I still don't see all the swimmers coming to the World Cup, which I think would be really important for, for swimming. Uh, if, you know, if there is a bigger competition, more fans will be coming out. As the most important organization's world of global sport, they always offer added values to develop aquatics and to earn further international recognition to our disciplines. The IOC is an organization who redistributes 90% of its revenue, 10% to the IOC, and the rest belongs to the NOC, and instead of going straight to the NOC, is passing through Olympic solidarity. The closing words of the FINA president and the FINA executive director were really convincing and further strengthened our belief of how huge a power this great family represents and how far we can reach with joint efforts. One of the main goals of this convention was to provide platforms where leading sport experts, top level coaches could share their knowledge and their winning strategies and provide a platform for each of you to exchange and network with our partners. It's very, very important family to go on together and this is the aim of FINA, to make our federation stronger and to go further. We live today inspired, I hope, from everything we have done these days here, we are more inspired. We live today motivated, but most of all, we live today more idea about the future. All credit goes to FINA for finding the wisest solution for choosing the date and the venue of the convention, a place where almost all member federations were present, since the busy program also included the FINA Extraordinary Congress. The Congress session approved a handful of proposals, just to name a few, the already embraced sport of high diving has officially become the sixth discipline. Its events enjoyed great success in Barcelona in 2013, and now it appears as the sixth star in the FINA logo. It's a good message that a couple of so-called taboos were also discussed. What was once unimaginable is now a reality. The door is open for the introduction of male synchro swimmers. Just as a man and a woman can dance on a dance floor, now they can dance together in the water. Men and women can now dive together as well, as mixed synchro events will be part of the diving program. These are brave attempts and both are in line with the demands of the International Olympic Committee on the equality between male and female competitors.
The precise and carefully prepared and organized event was crowned by the greatest spectacle, the awards ceremony for the best athletes of 2014. Based on the decision of the FINA Bureau, the FINA Aquatics World Magazine organized the first elections in 2010 by involving more than 200 member federations. The results appeared in the bi-monthly publication. Now, the appreciation for the FINA Best Athletes reached a new, much higher and worthy level as the greatest achievements were celebrated at a specially created gala dinner. The 11 Best Athletes of the six disciplines received their well-deserved trophies while being applauded by 850 guests on site. The gala dinner offered some show elements as well, but what made it really special is that it didn't matter which nation the actual winner represented, as everyone applauded the best ones with the utmost joy. This is one of the biggest honors I've had. Uh, awards to accept um, for any swimmer to be the you know voted or you know, named the best swimmer of the year by FINA uh, there's no words to describe it honestly. There were some other really good swimmers this year that also broke world records so I, I really wasn't sure and, uh, but I'm obvious yeah I'm, I'm really excited and I'm really happy with it. Uh, 这一年我有很大的收获，然后也嗯，从中有一些进步吧，然后会有一些吸取一些经验，然后嗯，能够为以后做更好的铺垫。An award like this, it, it, it recognizes your whole season, you know, it recognizes what you've done throughout the whole year. Um, it, it, you know, it, it's kind of like a, a nice little reward for, uh, for all the dedication you put throughout the year. I had an amazing year and just, I didn't even know about this till a couple weeks ago and it was just, a, it is definitely the icing on the cake. I couldn't ask for a better year. I'm very happy this uh, 2014. Um, a little tired, but I'm very happy. Obrigado. Eu acho que foram oito provas durante o ano e você pode em todas elas. É, foi um resultado muito importante. Eu acho que esse troféu é a coroação da, desse ano. I'm very proud of my of my teammates because they 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 give me chance to to win this let's say title and I would like to dedicate them this uh, uh, this title. I was super surprised when I was nominated, but it was very humbling and I'm I'm super honored and and like I said up there, this is tr truly a tribute to my team and to my teammates and my coach, so I'm really happy to have this for, for our whole team. Well, this event might be graded as the absolute highlight of the program, but the very best was just about to come, the 12th FINA World Swimming Championships.